Hello, this is JNT Incorporated, and today we'll be talking to you about Blade servers. Servers and the systems connecting them have been around for several years now. But with the downturn of the economy and the desire for most businesses to go green, server efficiency has become a hot topic on the plate for many large corporations. With the concept of virtualization and the fear of ever-growing cloud computing technology, server companies, much like Cisco, are stepping in with Blade Server technology. What is a server? A server is a computer or device that manages resources or provides a service to a client. The need for servers arose out of many people needing to access the same data or program at the same time. It would be highly inefficient to have to relay or run this data or program to these clients one by one. Thus, servers were born. The idea is simple. The user needs some information or a program to run. They request the information and the server responds with their program, data, or service. Today, we have many types of servers such as print servers which manage printers over a network or mail servers that regulate email. The way servers currently operate, they are dedicated to one function. Some servers, such as web or mail servers, may be more frequently used than application or print servers, especially during business hours. Because servers are faithful to only one function, many of them will not be used to their full potential. Virtualization, what it means for server efficiency. In 2007, virtualization became one of the buzzwords in the IT world, especially when it came to servers. However, virtualization is not a new concept. IBM had experimented with the concept in the 1960s. Virtualization for servers seeks to increase the capacity that your average server can operate at. Most servers only utilize about 10 to 20 percent or less of their capacity throughout the day, which is a huge waste of power, time, and manpower. Virtualization works by introducing a barrier to the physical server. This barrier divides the physical server into a desired number of virtual servers. This is the main benefit of virtualization, server consolidation. With this concept, you can now run two or more different types of programs, even if they work on different operating systems. Also, the utilization of an, any given server is said to jump from 10 to 20 percent to 60 to 80 percent. Now, with higher utilization and server consolidation, a data center will need less physical machines. Since virtualized servers can do more with less, electrical costs for power and cooling will drop significantly. Another advantage is lower hardware and hardware maintenance costs because now you can run more on a single machine. Blade servers, taking virtualization to the next level. As usual with technology today, there's always a newer, faster, and more efficient way to process and store data. And that can be seen in the ever-increasing interest of blade servers. Blade servers are self-contained, all-inclusive computer servers with a design optimized to minimize physical space. Blade servers are much different than regular everyday servers because they remove many of the standard server components in order to optimize space and power considerations. In traditional servers, it was common to have separate cars to process, power, and store information. But the blade server combines all its components into one card or blade. The efficiency comes from having multiple blades in the same space as a single server. In a standard server rack, only a max of 42 servers can be placed, when 128 blade servers can be stored within the same rack. Power suppliers are a must with functioning servers, and it is very common to have redundant power supply units going to each server. The redundancy in having power supply units going to each and every server begins to generate a massive amount of heat, while limiting the amount of space available for more equipment. Blade servers have a single power supply going to the blade enclosure, and it can power all blades within the particular enclosure. This reduces heat and more efficiently uses the limited space. Electronic components can melt with the heat generated from servers. This is a big concern, especially when its servers are usually crammed within small racks that do not dispel heat very well. The blade enclosures are designed with liquid cooling systems or fans on thermostat control that regulate the heat contained with each enclosure. Connecting all the traditional servers is costly and again requires a lot of space because each server requires the fiber connections to run and connect all the network topologies. Even after all the connections are made, most of the bandwidth is inefficiently used and the fiber is wasted. Blade servers reduce the waste as well as the complexity of connecting the topologies by wiring the enclosure with the fiber and then having the blade servers run through one connection. This requires a bit of traffic management at times, but the system becomes more efficient. Blade server, the competition begins. The technology arena is becoming increasingly more competitive as the economy begins to suffer and talk of cutting costs is buzzing about. There is no secret that the economy is forcing companies to cut costs and a major use of money is the technology that drives and supports them. The databases and computer systems that most companies purchase and maintain are requiring huge demands on their profits. Cisco's approach could help companies use fewer machines, saving money not only on hardware, but also on power and IT staffing. Cloud computing, another alternative. 
The biggest competitors these days for Cisco are not just other technology giants, but the ever-growing cloud computing concept. Cloud computing is a concept of paying a company to store and manage the data for a company on outside server networks like Google Apps. Companies would never require or need to purchase server equipment or even power server equipment again. Many security and reliability concerns begin to arise when the topic of cloud computing comes up in company conversation, and this scares many companies into maintaining the current server systems they rely on today. Instead of giving up control over their personal data, they choose to purchase new equipment and hire professionals to keep the servers up and running. Cloud computing is no doubt the way of the future for all companies to minimize costs while remaining competitive and efficiently assessing and maintaining their data. But security and the potential of unreliable service are risks that most companies are unwilling to take. Blade Server Technology will not only issue a new age of efficient server capabilities, but it will give technology market an avenue to pursue profits in a time of economic decline.